What is up everyone? It is me, VFogs, back in the beginning with another video. In this video I will be showing you guys how to hack BattleCat using the BattleCat save file editor. This doesn't require Game Guardian, and it should be uh, a little less confusing to use. And as you can see, I already did some testing. I mean, this cat hasn't been banned in like three weeks. So, if you guys want to do a method that will not get you banned, it's the perfect one. It even allows you to get some nice Ubers. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, first things first, you're going to need to. Let's just stay here for now. Uh, you guys can have my inquiry code if you want to um, right here. Um, you want to switch to this app called Termux, which you can get on Android devices. And what you want to do from here is type in what I have right here, Python hyphen mpip install battlecat save editor. And if you click enter, I should load up a bunch of stuff, okay? After you do that, you want to type out this, python hyphen m b c s f e underscore python and click enter after that. And shaboing, here we go. So next you want to you want to click number one, which is the easiest one, which is download save data from the game using transfer and confirmation codes. You want to click one, and then you want to enter your country code. So I play on the English version, which most people who do using this tutorial will do. So I'm going to type in EN, and now it wants me to enter my transfer code. So once you get this step, you want to Go back to the battle cats like this and start a transfer. So we'll go here settings, data transfer, begin data transfer, save data server. And after we do that, we will get a code. And if you're on Android, I'm pretty sure you can copy this code, but I'm not good enough to do that because I'm using an emulator. If you're wondering what emulator I'm using, I am currently using the Nox emulator for anyone curious. That's not true. Why am I lying to you? I am using the LD player emulator and I use it because it's the best one for me. It's because you can get root on it very easy. Most other emulators don't like people getting root, so I like getting root. So this should be my transfer code. We'll click, click enter, and then ask me for the confirmation code. So, let's switch back here, and the code is 4935. All you do is copy those, and then double check. Make sure you get these right, by the way. If you get them wrong, it obviously won't work. So, I'm going to click that, and the current game version, um, I guess it's 13.0. I'm not sure. Don't. I don't know. I'm going to say 13.0. Alright, seems to have worked. And from here, you can do whatever the heck you want. So let's start with, let's see, what do you guys want the most? We can do anything on here. But let's start with, let's start with two items. Items you'll find a lot of the stuff you want. So, personally, I would not touch cat food. I would... Let's start with XP. I've already hacked XP. Let's start again. So you see the max number is... 9999999999. So you want to put that number in exactly. 999999999. And boom. We got the max number of XP. Now let's go back to 2 plus 2 for items. Let's go... Tickets. I recommend to... Hack... Platinum shards because I don't think they check for platinum shards. That's how I've not gotten banned on this account. You can do platinum shards and whatever other type of tickets, but I'm just gonna do platinum shards. 
and then you see you have NP, Leadership, Battle Atoms, Cat's Eyes, even Cat Fruit, Talent Orbs, and all of that. So, if you want to get all of these stuff, you can do it here. I don't have Cat Fruit and that stuff on the account I currently have, but I don't know, I don't show you guys, but I have maxed out Battle Items, Leadership, and all of that. So, let's just do something that wouldn't get me banned. Um, Cadamans, why not? Let's select all four, and then enter the max value. Even though I don't have Cadamans, so... You're going to want to press 1, and then press 3, and then press enter to get your codes, and what case you can see the codes we got. So, if we go back to here, close game, and then cancel save data, it should say this, your save data has been transferred to another device, which is good, that means it's worked. So, let's go on here, let's go press settings, data transfer, resume, and let's type in the stuff Terminix has told us to type in, which is EA0 for me, this will be different for you guys, so don't copy these numbers, it will not work for you. And I don't want any questions asking me if it'll work for me, okay? Please don't ask me such silly questions. Um, once we type in the code, we should get our account back with the new updated values. So, if all was done right, if you missed the code up, it won't work. Let's resume transfer and hopefully it should work. And looks like it worked. So we go back into the game. Yeah, it was version 13.0, thank goodness. Alright, we go back to the game. I, my XP should be back to him. Yep, it's back to there. I, I turned midnight while I was recording this video. Gosh darn it. Alright. Whatever. So you can see, I did that. Half the max XP now. And if I go here, look at that. I'm getting platinum tickets because I had a bunch of platinum shards. And you can roll and whatnot. I would not edit stuff if it. Do not edit cat food, okay? It will get banned, so don't add any cat food. Platinum shards is 100% safe. As long as you put in 99, you'll be 100% safe. So that's a wonderful idea. And battle items shouldn't get you banned. You see, I have them all maxed out here. I have max number of leadership. You can see that. And obviously, I don't have gamma total on this count, so can't see that. But you can also have unit um, things. You can see that here. It kind of bugged out because I did it. But, other than that, that's everything you could possibly want. So, with this tutorial, using Battlecat Save File Editor, you can get anything. You can get XP, cat food tickets, Gamma Toto stuff, the Toto Corp stuff, levels on units, you can get Cat's Eyes, MP, Leadership, everything. So, this tutorial covers everything, and it's not bannable, and you don't need root. So, this sh is like the most wonderful tutorial ever made. If you have questions on how to get term books and how to get everything to work, I had to thug it out a bit and figure it out, because the tutorial I used didn't help out with that. So, if you guys want a tutorial on how to get everything to work, I might be able to cover such a tutorial, but this covers everything if you do have Termox and you have all the other stuff. But if you do, if you're wondering why Termox isn't working in your case, you have to, first of all, install Python on Termox, and then you have to add like the mods to it or something it's confusing you just put in a couple prompts and it works but if you guys need help on that i can try to make a video if I remember how to do it properly but i might not be able to do that so other than that um thanks for watching guys this is vivo signing out hope you guys enjoyed uh much love catch you guys another day